well it's a little awkward but I know now that the wall is square or pretty much square to my board so I know I won't be cutting a great deal off here so now I can work out this distance here Right, so I've scrubbed it in down there and I was preparing to put, put these little anchors in but I found metal stud I put a little bit of glue just top and bottom and I put a screw in the top because of the way it's pulling it's not going to go anywhere it's got a little bit of glue on it as well anyway so now I'll level around and I can get this other corner one in here These anchors are 5 by 52. That's about the best size I find for a plaster board and 2 by one These holes were the ones that I marked the, the wall with. I need to open them up for these. These are 5 mil M5. So I'm going to use a 6 mil bit and just wriggle it around a bit. You want a generous hole, otherwise it's hard to line these up. You could just drill through straight through this. But then this bit wobbles around in the big hole that you've got. You only want a little hole so it just locates in.
get them all going by hand first. Otherwise you can't get them going. Tighten them one up, you can't get the rest done. The outside walls have plaster, uh, plywood behind the plasterboard, so just screw that one on and then I'll scribe this leg in. Now we see them little screws scribed in down there. Plenty of strength there. Start fitting in the top now. Right now I've got these legs on, I can stand that on top like I did at the beginning just to see how far I am. That's straight, that's against the wall there. I've got nearly 10mm there to nothing and because of this I can't pull that out and push that in so what I'm going to do is cut a piece of this out measure across there measure between here and I'm going to give myself at least 15 or 20mm so if that's got to come say 50 I'll only cut it to about 30. So I'll do that, drop it back in, see how it looks. All right, between here and here is 103 millimeters. It's 1,003 really, but 103, that's what I meant. If that makes sense. So I measured it across, and that's to that mark there. So like I say, I've left myself a good 15, 20 mil. It sits a little bit lower now, so I can get a better idea of what's going on here. And you can see I'm touching there. And I've got a good 10mm there, which means I need to scribe this whole piece. I think. It'd be nice if this wasn't here. So I could pull that out, push this up against the wall. And then I could scribe that end, which is a bit shorter. 
I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Right, so I've got a little block there, a little block there, so that's parallel all the way down there. And it's thrown this end out now because I've pulled that around. So I've got 8 mil there to just a couple mil there, the plaster bun's in a little bit there. So I've set my scribers to that. mark this one while I'm at it. I'll cut that. I'll still leave that bit on for now. Alright, so I've cut that. Cut it with jigsaw so got a little wobble there. It's only a couple of mil. But it's, it's touching all the way around there now. Normally I'd lift that up drop it in this way and scribe that but I think because of the shape it's going to be a bit unwieldy here might give me a false reading there so I think I'm just going to risk it scribe that as it is like that it's still quite a long way down so I'll check this measurement make sure I'm right and we'll see So I've cut that off, but it's not sitting down, it's still just a little tight. So what I can do now that it's closer, tidy that up, you see I've got a little bit more of a gap there than I have there, not much. I'll take a little bit off there. And on the back of here, it's touching in this bottom corner here. So I can take a little bit off there, that'll push that back. And it'll also push that back a little bit. A little bit of fettling. And it'll fit. I reckon that back corner would go down if this got a little bit off it, so just use my pencil. It cut that a little bit back there. And take that back there. I'll do me. Just need to decide how I'm going to fix it down. I don't want to put a pin through the top earlier. But I don't want ugly brackets underneath. Alright, because it sits very well all the way around. You see it's squeezing out a bit there. I'll just put a bead of this all the way around. <laughs> 